Okay, so this tutorial is basically, now my presen presentation is done, so what do I do with it? Um, you have several options for ways to share, present, print, etc. your Google Slide presentation when it's completed. Um, the first thing that you could do is to present it from your computer. Um, and then, of course, if your computer is hooked to a projector, you know, it would show on the big screen or whatever. So up here in the right corner is a button called present. If you click the down arrow, you have some options on how you can present. You can present it from the beginning. This would be without the speaker notes. Um, so what, you know, if, if you didn't want your notes to be visible on the screen, then this is what you would choose. You can present with the speaker notes. So if you are using your computer separately from the one that you were showing to everybody else on the projector, you could show it with your notes and then that way um, any notes that you've added here at the bottom to you know trigger your memory as you're presenting would be visible. Or you can choose to present it in a new window. Um, when you go into presentation mode, it's just, um, it looks like this. And then as you click all of the animations and things that you've added along the way, um, will happen just as you've set them up to do. Okay, so I want to um, close this and I'm back to my editing page. Um, the next thing that I can do with my presentation is to actually print it. So if I go under File and go down to the very bottom, you'll see print and then you'll see print settings. So if you want to go into print settings, because this is where you'll choose how your presentation is going to be printed. So it's automatically set to print one slide per page without notes. You can click the down arrow, you can do one slide per page with notes, or you can do handout style um, printing, which would give you, you know, different um, slides per page and then gives you some space for your people to take notes, much like PowerPoint. Um, you can change the landscape or portrait form however you'd like and then just click print. Okay, I'm going to close that preview window. Um, the next thing that you can do is publish your um, slideshow to the web. So if you go under file and down to publish to the web, this is what's going to allow um, people to come to the link uh, of your slideshow and view it. And, and once you publish it, anybody can view it. So you can change the um, default as far as how often the slides advance. You can choose some different things like start the slideshow as soon as the player loads or restart the slideshow after it's done. And that's often helpful if you're putting this on a website or something where you want it just to continuously play. Um, so then you would just click publish. It's going to be, ask you if you're sure you want to publish it. Okay, and then it'll give you a link that you can then copy and paste into an email, um, embed it into, um, you know, hyperlink it into a um, website or other, you know, email or whatever. Um, and then under publish content and settings, you can require that they sign in with their Washington County Public Schools account if you want to keep it under the WCPS domain. And then if you um, publish it and you find that you want to make changes to it and etc., you can stop the publishing and, um, you know, redo it later. Another feature um, that you have on Google Slides is to download the, the presentation. So if you go to download as, you can save it as a PowerPoint, you can save it as a PDF, and all of these other different file formats. So that's sometimes helpful um, for different things and different reasons. But um, PDF is the one that if we download it, load it, we usually use because PDF is like kind of more of the universal file type that can be opened um, on, I would assume, every computer, um, that at least that I've ever seen. So that's an option that's uh, quite helpful as well. Up next and last for Google Slides is going to be miscellaneous features. I'm going to talk to you about how your slides are organized in Drive, a little bit about the help feature, emailing collaborators, and several other things.